Welcome back to part 31. Today we're going to be going to the Black Mage Village. And that's about it. Vivi is going to learn like, who he is, why he was created, basically the meaning of life. Hopefully, we'll see. But I'm going to get on my chocobo. And thankfully, I didn't re-enter the frickin' city there. Or whatever you call it. This is just so sick. I don't have to battle anybody. I'm so glad I picked this up. Makes it easier for me. Easier for you. You don't have to watch me grind. No one cares about that. Okay, so we're here. This part can be kind of a bitch. And the reason why is you have to go down these two little paths here, and we have to pick where there are no owls. So I'm going to go down this way. Get into battle. It's just how my life works. We got this big fucking fat bird type thing. Then I'm gonna use some Blizzara. I'm gonna try uh, a little Thunder Slash out again. Even though I feel like it's just gonna miss. Alright, let's see what happens. Was it a waste of MP? Absolutely it was. Man. You can't catch a break with that skill. It's a, it's a waste. I guess we can just have Zidane attack. Rainbow Wind. Interesting. There you go again, Queena, doing either little or huge damage. Oh shit, see you later. Now, wasn't there some ability that I had? Yeah, Limit Glove. HP it needs to be one. Damn it! Wanted to try it out, man. Use it on him again. You can do it. Ah, frig. Well, see you later. It's getting a little dicey in this battle here. There we go. Well, I'm gonna have to be doing some healing now. After that travesty of a battle. And look at that. Level 17. We're getting we're getting higher level every day. Alright, so I got a Phoenix down. I gotta pull out some some cure magic. No, didn't want to go in there. Well, that was very quick. I don't really think I need to use an elixir, but screw it. I'm just greedy with my magic, you know? So we gotta go down here. Now it's gonna kick me out back. Okay, good. Let's see what the sign says. Okay, go right again. Probably get in another battle. Ooh. That's gonna bring me to the back. Right, now... I could chance it. Let's chance it. Yes, it worked. Hell yeah. Now I'm pretty sure I have to go around here. Fuck. Whatever, we'll make it quick. Oh, it's one of these again. That's fine, we'll just use Twister. We'll just get out of this one quick. Why would you use White Wind as the first thing you do? I guess, unless you're already damaged, which wouldn't happen. Yeah, that's not going to do much against a, a bird, I just realized. Alright, Vivi, just shock. Let's get this over with. Get 
the fuck out of here. You don't get a turn. He likes hitting v Vivi every time I get this enemy. All right, let's use some shock. Damn, boy. That wasn't even that good, but still it got me out of the battle. So, can't complain, really. We gotta just hurry up. We gotta get to the Black Mage Village so I can get to the synth shop. This this place always gives me, like, minimum of four battles. It's always against this fucking round bird. I can't use frickin' shock again. It's just too much. Twister's pointless. I guess I could use Thundara. Again, with the White Wind as the first skill. I think this round of attack should take out this bird pretty quick. Dagger getting ready for that trance. Yeah, see, some of this magic like isn't as good as I want it to be. I guess I can hit him with another Blizzara. Rainbow Wind is Dick Tree's favorite move. By this point in the battle, no more MP. Let's just mash attack. There we go. What would be really cool is if you could get the Steam version of this game and somehow apply this hack to it because that game looks nice and here we got uh, black mage opening up a secret portal type deal turning a seemingly dead forest into a beautiful vibrant forest looks like something out of a Alaska or something very snowy and cold We get, we get here, and it just seems very, very peaceful. Look, there's little mushrooms growing. Oh shit, there's people. And they can actually talk, which is kind of cool. But yeah, you go deal with that. We're gonna, we're gonna do some shopping. All right. Yep. Come on. Here we go. Now. First thing you want to do, at least what I'm going to do, is I'm going to check the synth shop and just see what they have and see what kind of items that, you know, I'm going to need in order to to make some of this stuff. All right, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Not again! So we can get the rune tooth with another mithril dagger. What do I have equipped? The Gladius? Okay. So I can get the Rune Tooth. I just need a Mithril Dagger. Might be able to get a Barrette. Ooh, a Power Belt. And a Maiden's Ring. Well, I know we're going to get Maiden's Ring eventually. The Reflect Ring. Man, that's a gamble, because that could not have anything good on it. So I guess we'll just go with the Power Belt. See, I don't want to use that, because Garnet is going to need Stardust Rod. Guarantee it. Alright. Well, we need a Mithril Dagger. And we just bought the Power Belt, which has Master Thief. But it's not for me. That fucking sucks. Shit like this always seems to happen to me. So, I need to buy a Mithril Dagger. Actually, we didn't even see what the regular store has for items, too. So let's check it out. Okay, I said a Mithril Dagger. Got it. I 
mean, I guess that's a ton of money, though, to waste on his ass or her ass. What else? Feather hat. Well, we use that in a synth shop, so that's probably why we don't have any. Uh, okay, so we have everything. And I don't have any of my party here, so I can't really do much. Let's go see what Vivi's up to. Actually, hold up. Uh, I didn't even mean to go that way, you dick! Alright, MASH Central time. We got Vivi here, he's kind of questioning, you know, about death. And how uh, the Black Mages deal with it. Kind of where they come from. But we don't care about that. We just care about mashing and getting on with the game. Cool. Now, what I was trying to do was go in here. Because we need to come up here. And I'm pretty sure there's some good shit out here. If we just mash, mash... There is one chest. Alright, not super amazing, but... Hey, it's free money, and in this game, you need a ton of it, so... That's good for me. I'm gonna try in here. I think this is just like an item shop. But if we come out back... I mean, I guess we can go in here, too. Might as well. What is it? Uh, oh, I didn't mean to trigger this cutscene. Well, we got the whole gang together again. And by mashing, I accidentally hit, let's call it a day. Well, get ready for some cutscenes. Here we go. Oh shit, Vivi's sneaking out at late at night. Yeah, they're about to get busy in the in the hotel room. Yeah, right. That's never going to happen. So is this Vivi's home or isn't it? I actually don't know. It sure seems like it, but it's not really. Kind of is. And now we get to learn about Zidane's backstory. About how his wonderful stepfather tortured him as a child. And that guy he's talking about in this, that he's calling his stepfather, is in fact Baku, the leader of Tantalus, which is that thief gang that Zidane used to be a part of before he left the band. And we saw a little screenshot of him there. But, um... That would have made for, like, a pretty awesome... Like, uh, spin-off type game that was, like, more focused on just them. Where you got to play as, like, all the characters from Tantalus. That would have been so sick if the whole game was just doing, like... Like, thief missions and shit. I would make that game, if I had the skill. And that's how they refer to death, the Black Mages. They call it stopping. Which I guess technically that is. That is true, that's exactly what death is. One day we are all going to stop. Really? Thank you. So we got to go back to Condi Petty, deal with the rally whores, and make our way to the sanctuary. Ooh, we're getting a new character soon. Which means we're going to get to see what new abilities we're getting. It's all I care about. You know, if I get a bar butt, then I can buy whatever that was in the synth shop. 
But I don't know if you had one. Nope. No dice today. However, now that our full party is back, we can check everybody. See, I am i don't know if Dragon's Crest is any good, but I'm glad I didn't sell that. You know, for, uh, you know, whatever item that was. Oh, okay, she can learn Master Thief, which is awesome, but she still needs to learn MP20. Dang, I wonder if that will just apply to the whole party or what? Like, how that works. Dispel. Let's use it. I mean, fuck it. Let's get it. Uh, well, you learn Insomniac, I guess. That's cool. Let's check out Queena. A new fork. Amazing damage. Don't get to learn Millionaire, though, so fuck that. And I guess on Dead Killer. Oh shit, dude. Queena can learn Master Thief. Let's get it. Now nah, let's check it out. If I put it on Queena, does that mean Zidane will have the chance to still steal those items? I don't frickin' know. That would be nice if it did, but if it doesn't, that's gonna be pretty useless. Back to the overworld. Let's get back on our little choco. And make a quick trip of this. This honestly makes this section so much faster. It's ri ridiculous. Okay, let's get there. Get off of it and get in. So awesome. So, once again, we have to go through kind of a dialogue-filled trigger sequence where we have to, like, talk to the right person, you know, and then we can kind of advance. And this is where I was screwing up before because I was remembering things from this point and then remembering stuff from the first time that you're here. So it's all kind of confusing. I think that you have to talk to the guy at the gate back here that doesn't let you through. Yep, so you have to do that. Now we have to find the priest man. And I think he's in that downstairs hallway. Or is he right here? No, kind of looks like him though. So I'm gonna go down here. And there he is. Hey, you. We have to undergo a holy union between me and Garnet. I should say Zidane, not me. I say me because it's the character I'm playing as. Duh. And Zidane, of course, thinks this is for real. Oh, fuck. Rejected. And there's another way that you can get to replay that whole cutscene between Queena and Vivi. However, I'm not dealing with that right now. We are just getting out of here. Uh, let's see the twins. See, that's the one you want to pick if you want to get the fuck going. And with that, we're going to save the rest for next time. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.